and welcome. We're out here at the Otways and it's absolutely stunning. We had a big downpour of rain this morning, so I'm out here searching for waterfalls and streams to get that nice full flow through the forest. It's been quite a wet and mild summer, which has been great for the forest and ferns out here. It's all really nice and lush and green. And as a photographer, that's kind of what you want your nice forest scenes to look like. So all the tree ferns and undergrowth are just so vibrant and rich at the moment. It's uh, yeah, really nice to see, especially after the fires and sort of um, tragedies last summer where so much Australian bush was burnt. To see it come back so strong and green and lush is just really, really, really nice to see. And as a photographer, it just makes for perfect conditions. And my first location out here is Triplet Falls. Uh, it's the first time I've actually been out here. I've been to the Otways a dozen or so times and mainly just checking out Hopetown, Beauchamp Falls and some of the back forests. But I've actually been out to Triplet Falls here. So keen to explore the area. Uh, scoped it out on Google Earth and did some scouting on Instagram to see the different angles and compositions out here. And there's a main sort of section of Triplet Falls, but there's a kind of obscured by bush a little bit. So there's a little bit uh, down further down the valley. Uh, there's a bit of a clearing looking up through the stream, um, up through the forest. You get a bit of sort of view of the water and because there's been so much rain, it's quite humid out here at the moment. Um, they could be flowing quite a lot and I can sort of hear it off just in the distance. So I don't think I'm too far now. So I'm gonna keep on going and see if I can find that little sort of side path down to that sort of stream flowing down the, the valley there. So it should be a good one. Good news and there's bad news. I found the falls and they are absolutely pumping with all that rain, but there's a little bit too much rain coming down the cascades and I couldn't cross the cascades to get down to the composition that I wanted. It was just all this brown murky water flowing down and I looked for spots to cross and I was putting my tripod in the water to test how deep it was. I've got my gum boots on again, but it was just too much water. So I guess that's one of the downsides of visiting a location that you haven't been to before is you don't know what to expect. You don't know what the conditions are going to present either. So I, uh, I called it quits after about 20 minutes trying to find a crossing across the Cascades. Um, but I'm camping here overnight. So I'm thinking that maybe in about, yeah, tomorrow morning after about 12 hours, there's not meant to be any more much rain predicted. So hopefully that water kind of flows down through the Otways here. There isn't much left over. Uh, and it starts to ease up a bit and then maybe I'll be able to cross the cascade again tomorrow morning. Fingers crossed. It could still be flowing, but maybe we'll come back out again and see, see what we can find. Well, I've come down to Hopetown Falls and you can probably hear the falls roaring behind me. Uh, access down here was a little bit easier than I was at Triplet. Uh, there's a nice boardwalk out here to the main falls and they're absolutely pumping. I think this is the most water that I've ever actually seen in them. Um, so it's really quite impressive. So the view from the main lookout is pretty nice, but if you can get down a little bit further, there's a whole bunch of nice ferns and rocks and sort of fallen trees over the stream that make for really interesting foreground composition. Uh, so if you can get down there a little bit, you can get your camera close to the water. And that's what I was doing for my first shot. Uh, sort of these rapids with all this water, these rapids flowing through. So I was able to get the camera down nice close to the flowing water, looking up to the falls. Uh, and doing a bunch of long exposures there. Uh, one tip, especially when the falls are flowing this strong, the momentum from the water creates a lot of wind and gust coming sort of down through the valley. So it's blowing the ferns left and right. So if you do a long exposure for the water, the water looks nice and silky smooth, but the ferns themselves are sort of blowing in the breeze and they look kind of blurred and not too nice. So the tip there is to get different exposures at different shutter speeds. So maybe a quarter of a second for the moving water, but bump that shutter speed up to 1 30th, 1 50th of a second, sacrifice a little bit of ISO to make it noisy. That's okay, but at least then the ferns will be nice and tack sharp. Uh, and the second composition, just trying something a little bit different, was getting a bit closer to the falls and shooting through the ferns and just using a big wide open aperture. I think it was about F3.2, to focus on the falls, the ferns in the foreground are blurred out. It's a nice kind of soft foreground leading into the falls. 
Uh, and then because there's so much water flowing, actually using a faster shutter speed of about one hundredth of a second to really sort of freeze that motion in the water. So sort of two different extremes. The first one was a big wide long exposure uh, and the second one was a bit of a closer, faster, um, just to capture that motion and energy because there's so much water, um, sort of blurring it out might sort of take away from the raw power in the water. So just get a few different varieties when you're out in location, pull it up on the computer, have a flick through and kind of see what best conveys the feeling and emotion on the day. So yeah, nice, Nice trip out here to Hopetown, it's a good old classic. Well, I've continued to explore out here and I found this nice back road. Uh, I did think before the rain wasn't going to come back, but it has. Uh, but that's okay, it's providing some nice mood and sort of fog in the forest as well. So. I found this nice forest location just off the side of the road here, shooting off into a clearing. Uh, and there's this nice ancient, I think it might be a myrtle beech tree with this sort of yellow moss on its uh, trunk and limbs. Uh, and then it's kind of framed with these ferns uh, sort of underneath it. Um, so it's a nice kind of open view of the forest here. And this rain's actually sort of made all the greenery really nice and lush and vibrant. So I've got set up here with my telephoto lens. I'm only at about 110 mil. It's not a uh, sort of the yeah, extreme end of the zoom, but I wanted to sort of get enough where the tree trunk is framing it on the right. And we've got the branches coming out onto the, the left there, sort of in the open side of the frame. So I'm actually quite pleased with this composition. And yeah, there was just enough fog earlier for the clouds to sort of pass behind the tree create that depth between sort of the tree in the mid ground and then the rest of the bush in the in the sort of background as well so yeah nice little end to the day it's only about half an hour before sunset now so it's just starting to get a little bit dark this evening but yeah you're gonna head back to to camp get some sleep and then see what to, tomorrow holds Good morning. Uh, we're still out here at the Otways. Uh, as you might be able to see or hear, the rain did continue overnight. So I haven't gone back to Triplet Falls, but instead the rain's brought with it more fog to the forest. So I've decided to focus on more fog and fern photography this morning. Uh, so another back road out here near Beach Forest. Uh, and once again, it's just this grove after grove of these sort of ancient twisting uh, myrtle beaches and these nice lush ferns underneath. So I thought I'd spend the morning out here just doing some forest photography using the most of this kind of mist to help separate those trees from the sort of background uh, a bit further along. So this is my first shot of the morning. I uh, just up here once again beside the road. I found that here where the road is, it does present a nice clearing to shoot through. Normally in a forest, it's quite messy and chaotic. So uh, if you're in the middle of a forest, you've got shrubs and undergrowth and trees kind of before you want to get to the view they actually want to get to but here you've got the road you can kind of sort of shoot down in through to the view so uh, I've got set up here uh, for my 24 to 70 mil I found that's a good little uh, sort of forest lens where it's still wide enough at 24 where you can kind of get close and get ferns in the foreground whereas the 50 and 70 mil will allow you to kind of get in tight on the some of the particular trees and really sort of going uh, cropping close on them as well so I'll go ahead and uh, take this shot and uh, keep on continuing to venture through this forest. Well, I've literally gone about two metres down the road and I've got a different composition of that same scene. Just moving around the curve of the road here really opened up the arching trees overhead. Uh, so I've gone for a vertical shot this time. So um, I'll put the two photos up side by side. We had the landscape shot first and then just moving a little bit further down. Now I've gone vertical. Um, and honestly, I think they're both nice. I'll let you be the judge of which of your favorite is, but um, this fog really does help to create that separation from the background. If I was shooting this forest in the middle of the day, even on an overcast day that isn't as foggy with this low cloud, those white patches in the sky would be very blown out and bright compared to the rest of the forest. Whereas the fog just helps to kind of smooth that over into the background, creating that sort of nice pleasing canopy up there at the top, rather than these sort of white hot patches of sky. As you can probably see, the rain's continuing to come down. So I think I've at least made the right decision not to go back to the falls. Getting a bit wet out here, but man, this is, this is what I love doing. So it's just good to be out here.
Well, it's been a pretty special morning uh, just exploring this forest and getting down low into the valleys off the road and then shooting telephoto across into the gullies with the fog behind. And man, it's just, this is what forest photography is all about. And it's so nice to see the Australian bush so lush and green like this. It's just really nice to see and, and obviously really nice to, to photograph. So this morning I wasn't um, sort of focusing on one composition in particular like I was with the waterfall yesterday. I was getting those two specific compositions. This morning I was just going for a walk along the road, um, parked my car on a little side road and I just walked down for two k's, up for two k's um, and just there hasn't been a single car that's passed. So that's been a bonus but just stopping my tripod wherever there's a little uh, tree or fern that catches my eye, lining up the camera. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, that's the thing about forest photography is you can move your camera one foot and as before I just move what, two or three steps down the road and I've got a completely different composition. So I think I mentioned before in the Yarra Rangers video, but it just pays just to experiment and just get those different shots in the forest because you move your camera, you can change from landscape to portrait um, and the whole scene changes. You wait five minutes and the fog might roll through. So it's just that sort of that constantly changing environment where there's literally sort of millions of photos just awaiting to be taken. Uh, so I'll show you a, a couple of my favorites at the end of this video. But yeah, I just wanted to say that I think yesterday I went into the um, forest expecting nice waterfalls and streams with all this rain. And yes, there has been rain, but there was too much rain. So rather than be too disappointed at that limiting my photographic opportunities just kind of roll with the conditions they are what they are we can't change them so this morning it's still raining on me you can probably see my hair is a bit wet now um, but that's brought the fog with it it's brought the nice even lighting it's probably kept the traffic away so people aren't driving through this road as much so there are always pros and cons and you kind of just got to go with what the conditions present so uh, thanks for watching I'll show a couple of uh, my favorite photos up on the screen now but yeah until next time take care